be fun. You can watch Hairspray live right here on NBC10 tonight, starting at 8 p.m. Well, tonight, the Kimmel Center of the Performing Arts will host a private VIP party during Hairspray Live. Philadelphia is one of five U.S. cities that will be featured in cut-ins during that live show, and no doubt tonight will be filled with lots of nostalgia for our next guest and for you as well. Here with us this morning, 60s teen idol Bobby Rydell, along with former American bandstand dancers Buck Gibson and Steve Colorino. Thank you all for being here with us. They're going to be at tonight's party in Center City. So before Corny Collins Show, which is featured in Hairspray Live, there was the show that became the national phenomenon, American Bandstand, and it all started right here in Philadelphia. So Bunny, you were one of the regulars on that show. Talk about the experience and really what it's been like for you to reunite with some of the dancers. Oh, it's absolutely been wonderful. It's, it's a great part of my life. I mean, it was like New Year's Eve every day that we went there, Steve and I. I mean, there, there's our picture taken on TV. Um, it, it was just glorious. It was a wonderful experience. And we had a whole nation follow our hairstyles, our, our dances, um, what we were wearing. Uh, we were like the first rock and roll revolution in America, teenagers. We had buying power finally, and we were the leaders. We were the first, as Dick Clark says, the first reality stars. There you go. And, and yeah. while you talked about what you were wearing. Yeah. You're taking me it's back right my here. Poodle. With this. Right. Yeah, your poodle skirt and everything. I love it. Um, all right, so Bobby, talk to me a little bit about how American Bandstand impacted your career. And you continue to perform live. Let us know what you've been up to. Uh, just, you know, continue to work, you know, quite a bit, you know, since 1959. But as far as American Bandstand was concerned, Dick Clark uh, was a very dear friend. He was a nice man. And uh, I kind of classified Dick as uh, Mike Schmidt. In other words, you know, uh, Dick would want to know if the record was selling. Like my first record was called Kissin' Time, summer of 1959. So in other words, was it selling in Detroit? Was it selling in Chicago? Was it selling in Washington? In other words, you get three men on base, and then Mike Schmidt comes to the plate, being Dick Clark, and then he knocks it over the wall for a grand yeah. slam, you know? <laughs> because, like Bunny just said, you know, 3.30 to 5 o'clock every day, the kids want to see what the new dance, what the kids were wearing, so on and so forth. It, it, you know, it created such a, a great image, you know, for everybody. But unfortunately, we were talking, you know, backstage, it's gone. You know, that, that era is over, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. In Carbondale, Pennsylvania, the police had wondered where are all the teenagers because they weren't hanging in the streets. Everybody was inside their houses, shades pulled down, and watching us dance. <laughs> and I'm, just, I'm looking at these pictures and I say, "What happened?" Yeah. <laughs> we got like, some great, we got some great footage there. Oh, yeah. Steve, for you, tell us about the party tonight and what you're looking most forward to. Well, you know, one thing you can't do is get your youth back, but it's nice to see you <laughs> dancing. And you know, I wish I had the lungs and the, you know, put on a lot more weight since I, I was 120 pounds when I was a dancer. And uh, today, the dancing is more acrobatic than, you know, we did a lot of touch dancing and steps. And mm -hmm. so it, it's fun to see youth and, you know, I get a little jealous. But uh, we're going to have fun and uh, we're going to cut a little, uh, a few steps ourselves. We're going to cut the rug. A little, little really? Tips, yeah, a little tips. Oh, yeah. We're all watching yeah. that. We want to mm -hmm. see that. Thank you all so much for being here. Well, Philadelphia will be well represented during Hairspray Live tonight. Be sure to look for the live cut ins from the Kimmel Center when you're watching. And for NBC10, Steve Jones is gonna be hosting the live viewing party. NBC10 is proud to partner with the Kimmel Center for this exciting night of television. Bunny, Bobby, Bobby, Steve, <laughs> thank you. Say that five times fast. Yeah, really? Thanks for being with us here this morning. We really appreciate it.